place on Earth is colder than Antarctica. In the winter, it's dark 24 hours a day, and the temperatures are lower than minus 40 degrees Celsius. But that is where the Adelie penguin lives and breeds, and is an iconic and integral component of quintessential Antarctica. If the climate warms in Antarctica and the sea ice retreats, there's nowhere else for the Adelie penguin to call home. But the climate is getting warmer. Some 25 miles south of here, there's a small coastal research facility where Ukrainian and British scientists have taken air temperature measurements for the last six decades. And as the Antarctic Peninsular air has warmed, its sub-freezing air has become increasingly humid, facilitating unseasonably late snowstorms. Unfortunately, however, Adelie eggs are incapable of surviving exposure to the meltwater that follows snowstorms. On this very week, each spring, 30 generations of forebears have scrambled across the same stretch of the island. Knowing instinctually that her chicks are close to hatching, the Adeli vigilantly covers her eggs as the snowfall begins to accumulate. Our Adeli penguin stays on her nest, although she's completely buried in the snow with only a small opening left from which to breathe. Sadly, her two unborn chicks will eventually, inevitably, drown in the meltwater of this unseasonable snowstorm. The next generation of Torgerson penguins who have successfully nested on the island for 700 years, is wiped out. The consequence of this loss of biodiversity, not over the course of hundreds of years, but in real time, could encompass everything from altering key Antarctic marine food chains to the loss of species that may hold cures to cancer. The Adelie penguin is the iconic symbol of climate change in Antarctica. What sort of a world will future generations of Antarctic scientists find when they come to this remarkable place? And when they gaze over this landscape, will they be reminded how this place, this peninsula, these ecosystems, served as a wake-up call to jumpstart the technological, societal, and political paths to a sustainable planet?